Good morning, everybody. It's Gwen with Crafty Lady Designs. Uh, I'm going to do a tutorial. I've been talking about doing that uh, for a good while. I'm going to do a tutorial on policy envelopes and their closures, which are called button string closures. Now, I did not know what they were called, uh, along with various other people I've watched on YouTube. <coughs> Excuse me. And so I called Siri, and she looked it up, and that's what they're allegedly called. Policy envelopes have been around since virtually the beginning of time. I've used them in my office for years. They come, they come in eight and a half by 11s, the big, the big ones, whatever. But I've made them for a long time for my junk journals and my photo books and various things. They're very simple to make. <clears throat> uh, here's a smaller one, and you can make them out of anything. And this is all cardstock. I'm going to try to do this upside down, and I, I'm, I've already made one of these, and it didn't quite work out. So I hope this is helpful and you, that you can see what I'm doing. You can make them out of it. This is cardstock, Tim uh, uh, Tim Holtz's. This is a piece of uh, uh, cardstock out of one of my collections. It's Prima, but I don't know which collection. This is a tall, skinny one, like so. And here is another one, a little fatter, but it's virtually the same. Here's one out of... Uh, uh, this is uh, parchment cardstock. I think it's 65 pound. Uh, one of, and I've cut a thumb hole. I don't know. If, I don't know that I've cut it in all of. Yeah, here's a thumb hole, a thumb pull. Uh, when you put in now, when you go, when you do this the way I do them, you don't have to worry about trying to get in there and uh, secure that gr grommet. Uh, or put a brad in there and deal with the legs and then deal with trying to cover them up, which you should because if not, you're going to have a problem with sliding things in and out. And then up here, you have a more finished look, etc. So there again, this is the way I do them. I'm not saying anybody else is wrong. I'm just saying I just think they look uh, more finished and, and they're quite easy to do so that's what we're going to do this is the string and button closure that we're going to make here is the top button with the string that uh, is secured inside this is the bottom button that you're going to do the figure eight now the figure eight closure quite frankly is the tradition you can do it any way you want but the figure eight is the traditional way you uh, loop the string. So let's put these aside and get started. And I use crochet thread. Uh, it's a not a real fine thread. This is a finer thread uh, that I used on these. This is a crochet thread, which is fine. It's a little heavier, but it's okay. So let's lay these aside and lay these aside. First of all, we're going to make our uh, envelope. The size of the envelope is eight and a half by nine. This is the long side nine, and this is the eight and a half side here. So we're going to do some scoring here first of all. I hope you. And as I say, I'm doing this upside down, but I still hope that you can uh, see it. So the uh, long side, which is the nine inch side, we're going to score at three and a half. Three and a half, and then we're going to score it at seven and a quarter. Three and a half and seven and a quarter, like so. Then we're going to turn it to the short side, and we're going to score it at an inch and a half on both sides. An inch and a half, which will be your top. Oh, I'm sorry, I did this an inch and a half. That's okay. An inch and a half on both ends. Now, after we've completed our scoring, I'm going to set this aside. We're going to do some trimming. Now, what we're going to do, we are going to trim out. I don't I hope you can see the scoring. We're going to trim out the corners. We're going to trim out this long corner. I, I don't know if you can see. We're going to trim this long corner like so. We're going to trim this one. 
I'm going to turn off my auto zone, zoom because I think it's interfering with her. There we go. And then we're going to trim off this corner. We're going to go up and we're going to trim all four corners. There's going to be two uh, small ones and then there are two larger ones. I try to trim on the outside of the uh, score line. And this is what you have. Now I'm going to go back and this is your top flap. This is your bottom flap. First of all, I'm going to I'm going to fold and burnish. This is I'm going to fold and burnish. I hope you can it's kind of upside down, but I think you can see what I'm doing. I'm going to fold these aside. And then Fold the, now this, for example, I didn't get cut close enough, and it's not going to fold, so I'm going back in and, number one, straighten it out. Now, let's see. Uh, oh, let's fold this in and this in. Yeah, there we go, and then fold this down. I'm going to make this, this is where I messed up on the scoring, but that's okay. Uh, and I fold it over this way. So uh, then I'm going to go back on the top and the bottom, and I'm going to angle the both flaps, which is a traditional look on a policy envelope. You can round your corners. You don't have to do this. You can leave them rectangular. You can do whatever you want to do. They're yours. Uh, they're your envelopes. But this is kind of the traditional look. I have rounded the corners many times. And then you fold this over, fold this down. Fold, oh, that didn't come off. Pull this up, down, and this is, <laughs> I'm telling you, policy envelope, okay? So I've already prepared one over here for us to finish up. And what you do, I've already uh, angled the top. Uh, this is going to fold in like so, and then there again, this is your envelope, like so. So what we're going to do, I'm going to remove the uh, tape backing. Oh. I have another tutorial I'm going to do. Um, it's on a pocket. It's on a really neat pocket. Now, here we have, we folded our envelope. Now, you can go in here with, and I have this marked, your... Um, I'm going to trim that down. That should not be that way. Huh, how do I do that? Well, I can't do it now, but I, that should be even now. I'm going in with my uh, one inch punch. I'm going to try and center it here and then punch a thumb pull. There we go. Oops. So there we go. We have a thumb pull. We have the envelope. This folds down. Now we're going to make our button and string closures. You're going to need an eighth of, this is, I think this is an eighth of an inch punch. I bought this at Hobby Lobby. This is my um, crocodile that I've got set on the small uh, setting for uh, the small teeny. These are the little bitty grommets. Here's some scrap that I'm going to use. Now, I am going to fold this in half, like so, burnish it so it's not too thick. A little, because this is uh, 65 pound cardstock. I'm going to do two of them here because doing this, and it will, it will punch, but doing this you're going to line up your holes much easier. I've done it both ways and trust me, this is easier. You're going to take your small eighth of an inch punch and you're going to punch a hole. You're going to punch a hole in both of your folded. Then you're going to take your one inch punch and you're going to come in I'm going to have to turn it. You're going to come in and you're going to punch around that hole and try to center it as best you can like so. Oh, 
And when we slow it, punch it out, and it's going to pop up in the world. Uh, oh, wait, i got to pull this out. Then you're going to do the same thing on the other one. Center it as best you can. And I'm going to try to turn this over to keep from... There we go. So there we have both of our buttons lined up and uh, I'm going to move this. I'm going to move all, well, I'm not going to move this, but I'm going to move this. So what we do now, we take these and we find our grommets. Now these are very, very small uh, grommets. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh, my goodness. Uh, I got these very teensy weensy little grommets at uh, you can use any color, any whatever, but they, I got these at Michael's and it's like 10000 in a package. Uh, let's see. Okay. okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. Take my string and then I'm going to I'm going to uh, feed my string through one of the buttons, pull it to the side, and I'm going to line the top up. Now they they should line up. They were punched out together, and they do. See how and see the string is run through the back through one like so, and then I'm going to pull it to the side and put in our grommet. like so and then I'm going to set the grommet and the grommet is set then I'm going to trim off the extra string on the back of the button then I'm going to secure the other button now there again uh, there's no string in the other grommet. I'm going to set the grommet like so. So there we have both of our buttons, one with the string and one without the string. Now we're going to attach said grommets to our policy envelope. I put the, the um, not our grommets, I'm sorry, our button closures. I put the button closure on top that has the string. Now I'm going to secure this with art and glitter glue. Uh, which will hold it very nicely. So on the back, we're going to put some art and glitter glue that's already. Come on. Oh, well, I covered that up right away. I thought it'd be okay. That's the only thing about. I like this art and glitter glue, and I use it all the time, but it seems to clog up. Okay, so we have the glue, and we're going to put this on top, the one with the string right in the middle on top and this has the string like so i'm going to hold it for a little bit the glue is great it uh, it works very quickly but i put quite a bit probably too much i'm going to hold it till it sets a minute then i'm going to take the bottom button button string that's what they're called take the bottom button put glue on the back like so and I'm going to line this up in the middle. Now I put about about in the middle of the uh, uh, policy envelope. And I'm going to hold it down as well and still hold this one down and let them set. Virtually that is all you do. And I find this very easy, very simple. Uh, a more finished look. I'll show you when we finish up here. Uh, I want to hold this down so it'll catch thread it for you. Let me close up my glue before it gets... I hope this was helpful. I um, I love making these. I've made a ton of them. I use them a lot in my journals. And I used to make a lot of uh, photo albums. And you could and, and you can fill these with anything. You can fill this with memorabilia, pictures, notes, secret things. Wouldn't that be fun? <laughs> okay, they're virtually. So what we do, we thread. Now see, you've got two in here. You've got two. And you're going to separate that, and you're going to thread in like so. Not the bottom one, but the one on top. I did that wrong. Okay. The, oh, come on here. Now we're not going to do that. 
the one on top, not the bottom, the one on top. And now you're going to wrap it around and out. It's the one on top that you thread it in. Can you see? And then you do your figure eight. You can do it, I mean, you can do it any way you want to do it. They're yours. Uh, but the figure eight closure is, is, uh, is the primary traditional way that you thread them. Then you can stamp them, you can decorate them, you can do what, or leave them just plain, just follow the envelopes. So there we have it, the uh, string and button closure of the policy envelopes. Here are uh, others. There again, you can make them in all different kinds of... Uh, I don't think that worked out too bad. I think you can see what I did. Here's some, here's some more that's different colors and sizes and whatever. Uh, I think you can see what we did here. If you have any questions, please ask down below. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. Uh, and give me a thumbs up. I really, really would appreciate it. Uh, this was fun to do, and I hope it was helpful. Uh, and I will download this pretty soon here. I'm also going to come back and do a, um, a, 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 a um, envelope pocket type thing that was... Uh, uh, done by Yvonne White, but I do it a little bit different and finish it off a little different, but it was her design. Uh, so thank you so much for joining me. Have a great rest of your day, and I will see you on the next video.